Hello and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to talk about BTS's interlude, Shadow, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video. Now, much like we were expecting, Shadow features Suga and deals with the shadow concept that was foreshadowed ever since Intro Persona came out. The fact that this is an interlude is immediately really interesting because it kind of suggests that Persona and Seven should be seen as part of the same story. This makes sense because by ending Persona with Dionysus, BTS metaphorically freed the shadow we are now seeing in the interlude. In Jung's theories, the shadow is the part of us that we repress in our unconscious. It represents our fears, our anger, our weaknesses, everything we want to hide because we are ashamed of it. But now the shadow is free, so what we are seeing here is the representation of Suga's most intimate feelings and worries. At the beginning, the video opens with a shot of a corridor that shows Jungi and Seven Shadows standing in front of closed doors. As we'll see in a second, these figures could be interpreted in different ways. So for now, let's focus on Yungi. In the scene, Suga, which in this case is playing the shadow of himself, is standing in front of an exit door that turns into a cracked mirror. Right off the bat, this is very interesting because by comparing the exit door with the broken reflection, BTS is showing us that the door to their unconscious is now cracked and we are able to see inside of it. This links us right back to the quote from Carl Jung that Nam June mentioned at the Golden Disc Awards 2020. The dream is the small hidden door in the deepest and most intimate sanctum of the soul, which opens to that primeval cosmic night that was so long before there was conscious ego and will be so far beyond what a conscious ego could ever reach. Now, a lot of people were obviously very confused by this quote, but now we are seeing the perfect representation of what that sentence implies. In the quote, Jung basically says that the dream is a door to the soul from which we can see the most primitive side of ourselves, that side that is, that was part of us before the ego came along. Now, according to Jung, the ego is the part of us that represents reason. So before that, what we had was only what connected us to the universe itself, which is the shadow that we are now seeing. Back in Persona, Aram asked himself who he was, and by asking this question, he opened the door to the soul the shadow is now standing in front of. Since Yungi is awake in the scene, Shadow Yungi is staying on his side of the door. But as soon as he is unconscious, the shadows come out. And since Persona opened the door, now the shadows follow him everywhere he goes. On a metaphorical level, this means that once you start questioning your identity, you may find parts of yourself that you don't like and that you struggle to control. But as we see in both the video and the song, BTS's shadow is also connected to their calling, which implies a conflict between who they want to be and who they are. This conflict is made evident even by the song itself. If you go back and listen to Shadow, the instrumental is actually sampled off the intro to What Are You Late To, which is an album that is constantly referenced throughout the video for this specific reason. You see, back in the intro, BTS said that since you only live once, you have to live your life as you want, because everything you did will make you into the person that you will become. In Shadow, we see the outcome of this philosophy, but as it turns out, the reality they are living now is very different from the dreams they had back then. At the beginning, the song opens with Suga stating what his ambitions are. He says that he wants to be a rap star, to be king, to have everything he wants and be on top. And this is a direct callback to the Suga that we met when BTS first debuted. In the lyrics, he is voicing the ambitions that led him to begin this journey in the first place, the dreams that he had when they first started. But as the first verse begins, we go back to the present and see that these dreams look more like a nightmare. In the lyrics, he says that after wondering how far he would go, he found himself here, with the shadow at his feet that grow darker as the light becomes more intense. In the video, these lines are anticipated by the shot of him on stage and surrounded by faceless people with their phones up. 
This is what BTS sees when they are on stage. It's the world, and to a certain extent, it's us as well. You see, in order to understand what Jung is talking about here, we have to think about it in context. This is shadow, so it's about the negative side of their job. It's about the loneliness, the pressure, and the anxiety that come with success. This is not to say that it's always like this, because in many other instances they openly said how great it is to be who they are. But in order to get the full picture, that is, in order to understand who BTS are as people, we have to touch on the negative aspects as well as the good. And whether we like it or not, ARMY is part of both worlds. On the one hand, there is a huge amount of people who loves them and respects them. But on the other, there's also a lot of people who touches them, disrespects them and follows them everywhere they go. This obviously applies to the press, the haters and those people who want to involve them into scandals as well. And if you think about it, this is actually really scary, but also a part of what we call success. This is the shadow that Jung is referring to here. It's the social anxiety that comes with the public, it's the pressure to deliver, it's the fear to disappoint people, it's the anger towards those who hate them and disrespect them. Now they are flying, but flying is terrifying because the higher they go, the more dangerous and lonely it gets. While they are surrounded by light, their perspective is distorted by fear. So the shadow engulfs them and turns into a monster. This implies that when the shadow takes over, that is, when fear overwhelms them, even the good things are seen in a negative light. And this is why he says that we shouldn't let him fly. This part of the song is actually very interesting, because visually we get a reference to RM's reflection. Here, the mics break the glass, which means that through music they are now exploring the boundaries of their identity. But when it comes to the lyrics, this line perfectly mirrors RM's line in persona that in turn says that he wants to fly. This means that while the ambition of their persona pushes them to seek success and follow their dreams, the fear associated with the shadow makes them desperate and turns their dream into a nightmare. If you look closely, in the lyrics, the shadow itself is born out of light. And this is because their job is such an important part of their identity that it defines who they are. As we see later on in the video, Shadow Yungi is part of the audience. And this is because their relationship with the outside world is such an important part of themselves that their shadow takes on the perspective of the audience itself. The fear, the anxiety and the pressure they feel comes from the opinion of the public. And this is because their persona, that is BTS, defines them more than anything else. In the second half of the song, Suga repeats once again what his dreams are. But all of a sudden, his shadow literally takes the stage and reveals the point of the entire concept. That is, that the persona and the shadow are one and the same and impossible to divide. This is because the two sides are different parts of the same individual. They complete each other and cancel each other out. And as much as the persona tries to escape, the shadow will always be there no matter what. Now, at first glance, this may seem like a very negative outcome, but in reality, it is far from it. Because acknowledging that the shadow is a part of us is what we need to do in order to move on to the next step. You see, according to Jung, the goal of the map of the soul is to reach individuation, which is the process of achieving balance between the persona and the shadow through the ego. Achieving balance is the only way we can reach self-improvement, but in order to do so, we first need to accept both the positive and the negative sides of ourselves. And this is exactly what happens in the song. By acknowledging that the shadow will always be a part of him, that is, by accepting that light and success will always come with darkness and fear, Jungi is actually moving a step closer to achieving balance, thus showing us how to do the same as well. So that's it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.